Hello and welcome to another episode of Poke Openings. It is time today to break into some Obsidian Flames, the set that came out a few days ago as of recording. Uh, this, of course, is a pretty hyped set, everybody knows why, because there's, I think it's two or maybe three uh, Terra-type Charizards that everyone is after. Uh, I got it because this came out around my birthday, I thought I'd treat myself. So. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the back, uh, but we'll take a look inside anyway. There is a promo. That's part of the reason I got the ETB rather than just some packs. Got some other stuff. We'll look at that in a second. And, of course, it's got a very cute Charmander on the side. Uh, I do like Charmander. Not my favourite of the Kanto starters, but, hey, you know, I'm not complaining. Uh, now, obviously, I'm sure there'll be a Blastoise and a Venusaur-themed uh, set, right? R right? They, they get... We get equal representation. <laughs> ah, who am I kidding? Anyway, let's uh, open this up. We've got the uh, player's guide. It kind of tells you about some of the cards. It's got the list of uh, cards there, but I'm not going to spoil myself. I've seen what the like Chase Charizards look like. I think there's two of them. Maybe there's three. I can't... Ooh. It's slightly red holographic, but... It's kind of hard to make out on camera because it's too shiny, if anything. But that is very cool. I'll put that to the side. Uh, let's see. I'll lift this out. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That's kind of cool, actually. I really like that backing. That's. Uh, I will have that as the backdrop to like lean all the good cards, or some of the good cards, or none of the good cards. Depends what we pull today. Uh, let's see. So we've got... Uh, We've got the damage counters. Ooh, very nice. A kind of translucent red dice. Very cool. Uh, we've got, I want to say, nine packs. Six, seven, eight, nine. That is nine. We'll obviously be opening these in a second. Uh, what have we got this side? I think these are sleeves. They, ooh, holographic red Charmander sleeves. All right, very cool. Uh, we have a code card that I'm keeping to the side, because I'll be opening that myself. We'll look at the promo in a second. The most exciting thing, the energy is just a brick of energy. Do you know, I've probably got bricks all the way back to, like, XY era, because I just never opened them, because, like, I've got loads of energies. These are some more of the... Oh, well, that's interesting. Usually they've got, like, a design on the back as well, but no, okay. We've got the four kind of separator things. Uh, ooh. Ah, there you go, and we've got the poison and burn counters, uh, the plastic ones, and I think that's everything. Cool, and, of course... We've got the promo. Look at that. Uh, angry boy. He just wants to go outside. Honestly, this is definitely what pushed me over the edge. Oh, wait. Is he... Is he... No. Uh, uh, is he angry at that Pidgey, I guess? And the Pidgey's just, like, not giving a shit. Okay, well, that's very cool. But, yeah, uh, I love this promo. I, I do love the ETBs now come with promos. And so far... Actually, I don't know what Paldea Evolved came with, but uh, the Skull and Violet and this one have both had really cool promo cards. I'm not going to take it out of the wrapping, but I will put it back there in a second. Also, uh, I'm not going to feature in the video, but uh, I did open some Paldea Evolved uh, packs off video, and I did manage to pull this. I am thoroughly happy because he is such a cool guy. God, I wish I could hang out with him. Uh... But yeah, so I just thought I'd sh uh, show this off and flex. I don't know if it's a valuable card, but I really like the art. Anyway, I'm going to go clear up everything now, and we'll get into the packs. So BRB. I forgot to show you the inside of the outer cardboard. Unfortunately, I've slightly ripped this, so uh, well done me. But we do have a terror type, dark terror type Charizard. Um, dra flying? Flying? Dragonite, I guess? Uh, Electric Tyranitar, and is that just for room? Is he Terra? Is that just for room? I think that's just for room. Oh, okay, he's not Terra type then. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to sort out the cards now. Alright, there you go. So we've got two of each pack and one extra of the Charizard pack. Very cool. So let's bust into this. Now, in terms of what cards I'm looking to pull, obviously, I mean, Charizard would be cool, but it's, eh, I don't know. If, you know, I, I'd like some, I'm really digging the illustration rares and stuff, so 
Any of those would be cool. I'm going to say electric. It's dark. Okay, I almost dropped that card. Let's begin. We've got a pony on. Hey, ah, Sinistee. Surrounded by just regular tea cups, I guess. Okay, uh, interesting. We've got a tad bulb. Oh, look at that happy boy. Ooh, uh, Numo. That's cool. Wasn't expecting to see Numo in this set. We've got Mowile. Being very cute there. And not at all uh, scary or aggressive. We've got Arvin. Uh, that is a trainer we're going to see in, I think, every set, along with some of the others. We've got a glowing Stunfisk. Why is he glowing? Okay, he's like achieved max power or something. Our first reverse is a uh, Surskit. Very cute. Our next, ooh, is a Midnight Form Lycanroc, I want to say, right? I think that's Midnight, because he, he, he looks like an evil, sinister kind of thing. Uh, ooh, and we got a Hollow Darkrai. Okay, very cool. I mean, you know, it, it's not like a, a super hype card, but hey, I uh, I do like pulling legend legendaries, regardless of if they're hollow or whatever. Very cool. Right. I'm going to work right to left, so we'll start with Tyranitar. Uh, I don't want to end on the Charizard, because obviously the final Charizard pack will have the um, the the Dark Terror type Charizard. I want to say as well that the cards kind of have the cards are the type of the terror thing, right? Ooh, we got fire. Ooh, maybe this is a good sign. Or maybe it's not. We've got a Capsicid. Very cool. I can see some hollow, but that could be a regular hollow. Uh, we've got Drillba. We've got a uh, Cub Chew. Very cute. Uh, ooh, Spoink. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I, I really like that art, actually. Uh, we've got a King Gambit. Let's go. King Gambit's so cool. He's uh, not a Pokemon I expected to get an evolution, but one I'm happy that did. We've got an Oink Longe. Oink Longe. Longe. Uh, we've got a Letter of Encouragement. Uh, encouragement, then we will pull something really good. We've got a Litwick. Ah, look at that happy boy. Very cute. Also, like, reverse... Reverse fire almost looks brown. It's the, that caught me off guard. We've got a masquerade to go with that surskit we got in the first pack. And oh, Togekiss. Okay, ooh. Ooh, I really like the background of that. It's like in. It's in like a snowy wonderland at night, I guess, because the moon's up there, right? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not fully sure. Hey, well, two for two with hollows I'm happy to get. Uh, you know, I know hollows aren't, you know, they're guaranteed uh, in these sets, but I, you know, th there is a difference between pulling that or a hollow of, I don't know, scun tank or um, uh, gum shoes or something. It's like, ah, oh, cool, he's here. Uh, I'm going to say electric energy. No, nope, it is steel. My fingers are blocking it, though. Right, let's begin with heat more. Very cool. Okay. Anti to dude. Ah, you got like a clay, no, a CG, like a 3D CG lily pup. Got a top, ooh, very cool looking topsail there actually. Uh, a Charcadet, that's going to be in every set, isn't it? A Brassius, very cool. Ooh, actually, a Charmander would be a nice pull. Uh, got a Magnus, ooh, that's really, that almost looks like a reprint from like Diamond Pearl era. It's like that kind of era of 3D kind of stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. We've got a Crabominable. Very cool. Uh, our reverse is a Dartrix. Very cool. I I'm glad the Rowlet line is in here. Let's go! We've got <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. We've got a Cleffer. Oh, look, there's a little, there's a star in the background and like there's lights from a city or something. It's just yeah, it's just like chilling out on... Ah, uh, oh, that's adorable. Right, I'm going to sleeve this in a sec. Let's see what's behind first, though. Okay, and it's a hollow clay doll. Not not bad. And I'm going to go sleeve this, put it in the back, and I'll be obby. All right, three packs in, and we've already pulled some heat. Can the heat continue with this Varoom? Uh, everyone, anyone a fan of Varoom? It's, it's cool. I like it. But it's not my favourite. Uh, it's got an interesting typing, though. I'm going to say fighting. No, it is water. Okay. Um, right, let's begin. Ah, Togepi to go with that Cleffa. Very cute. 
Uh, we've got a gloom. Oh, that's very detailed. That's like there's a lot going on there. Very interesting. We've got Bronzo in the snow. Very cool. A not very happy looking snubble sat on the couch. Fair enough. Uh, more well again. Very cool. Ooh, Buffalant. Hey, I really like Buffalant. He's cool. We've got a Crabominable again. A reverse is a Toad School. Man, he always looks like he's on the way somewhere and he's absolutely happy with it. Uh, our second reverse is a Grand Bull to go with that Snubble. Very cool. I've got the full line of that then. And we got a Toad Scroll EX. Let's go. This is the first Toad Scroll card uh, I've pulled, I think. I think he was in Scarlet and Violet. Don't know about Paldi Revolved. But very nice. Hey, he's got that sparkle. I'm also going to sleeve this then. I'll put him in the back. All right, so back-to-back -back heat there. We've uh, pulled some pretty cool stuff. I'm hoping to pull enough that I'm going to have to move Charmander over to uh, that box. I don't think in any of my videos I've pulled well enough that it takes up all, like, four slots that that would need. But hey, you never know. I'm going to say fighting. No, it is psychic. All right. Let's begin a uh, midway pack. We've got a oh, shuckle just looking in that water at his reflection. Hey, Bishop. Very cool to go with that King Gambit earlier. Magneton to go with that Magnazone. Very, man, I really like that. It's very, uh, that art pops, man. We've got Timple. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at him. Uh, ooh, Volcarona. Very cool. Uh, we've got Alteria. Very nice. I I always forget the dragons are back because I remember it was a big thing that they got rid of dragons for a while. Got Houndoom, very cool. Uh, a reverse <laughs> is slightly derpy looking Eevee, but I like it. Our second reverse is a Skarmory, very cool, very very shiny boy. And our rare is a Scovillian, Scovill, Scovillian, yeah, Scovillian. Sorry. Hey, the two-headed, angry, uh, like, chili plant dude. Uh, well, that might not have been the coolest Charizard pack, but we still got one left. So, we've got four left. We're over halfway done, but I think we've pulled some pretty cool cards so far, honestly. Uh, I would like a Terra-type card. I don't know how many there are in the set, actually, so I don't know if that is, like, just there's... You know, particular ones. We've got an electric energy. It didn't even make a guess there. And we begin with Togedemaru. Hey, there's so many cards in this set. I'm like, I've, I've barely pulled any double so far. We've got a Grievard. Very nice. A Lechonk. Very nice to go with our Oink Lounge. A Lampent. I'd like a Chandelure actually, especially if there's like an EX or something. Our Believer. Like, just back to back cards I do not have. Team Star Grunt, I think that's a reprint from Skull and Violet. We've got Alteria again, fair enough. We've got a Houndower. Uh, it is Dower, isn't it? It was Houndor, Houndower. Reverse. We've got a Grumpig reverse. Very cool. I uh, Grumpig's always like quite a weird one because it always has majestic backgrounds. It's interesting. Uh, ooh, our rare is. Oh, wait, no. I was going to say it's a terror type, but it's clear. No, it is, right? Is. Hang on. So, Greedent EX terror type is normal. Greedent is normal. What? Let's get. Okay. Well, hey, that's cool, though. And there's like special rules, I think, uh, you know, with terrors and stuff. Very cool, though. I will be putting it in the back. I mean, Greedent's not. Uh, I, you know, shout out Tim if you're watching this. I know you're a big Greedent fan. Yeah, uh, well, I'll go and sleep here, though. That is very cool. That is a terror type. Also, I do believe this is a super rare because it's got the two stars, and it's 179 out of 197. Um, I'm not sure of any super rares there are, though maybe it is a standard. Uh, but still, very happy with that. Right, that was our last Tyranitar pack. This is our last Dragonite pack. Um, I mean, I guess I guess the four Pac-Mons are obviously... Like, alternate art cards? Why do I pronounce that so weird? Alternate. We've got Fighting Energy. What will we begin the pack with? It is a glim Glimmert. 
Cool. Limits all right. Uh, we've got Rhyme, the rapping hip hop uh, gym leader. Hey, we have a rock rough. Yet again, like another line I didn't really. Oh, wait, no. We did get um, like a rock, didn't we? Hey, Wiglet. Very cute. Uh, ooh, Dragonair. Oh, yeah, because Dragonair's on the pack, obviously. That, that makes sense. Uh, we've got an Armor Rouge again. Uh, still no Charmanders, I've noticed, but still. Ortega. I don't remember Ortega. Oh, is that one of the star team star leaders, right? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, we've got the reverse time pole again, I think. That's the second. Oh, that's cool. Okay, and we've got a reverse palpitator. Whoa, that. I never realised palpitator's tongue was that long. Good lord. No, okay. And our rare is Gita. Possibly, I'm going to say this, controversial, possibly the easiest champion ever. Um, the her, her champion battle is beyond, beyond simple. I... I was pretty underwhelmed, I'll be honest, when I fought her in uh, Skull and Violet. Oh, well, in Violet. I have not played Scarlet. Right, it is the last Varum pack. Last time it did bring us uh, the EX. So, will we get another one? Who knows? Let's see. I mean, I've got crazy good pulls, I think, this ETB. We've got a Dark Energy. Maybe that means I'm going to get Dark Charizard EX. Ah, oh, we got Sinistee again. A lot of milk in that tea. I just realised. It's like, good lord. Are you a big milk in tea person? Person that's watching this? If so, let me know. I don't like milk in my tea. We've got Toad Bulb. Uh, we've got Numel. We've got more. Okay, we're getting, we're getting doubles now. Armor Rouge. Ooh, Amoongus. Pretty sus. <laughs> uh, nothing to say. Uh, ooh, Seismitoad. There you go. We've got the whole uh, line now. Very nice. Ooh, a Probal Pass reverse. Very cool. Genuinely very cool, actually. That's, uh, I forgot about his like, floating arm duck faced things. Hey, a reverse Togepi. I can't remember if we pulled Togepi reverse or regular. And our, ooh, let's go, Ente is our hollow. Again, I know it's uh, not an EX or like a full art or whatever, but man, I uh, I appreciate legends being hollows and stuff. I do love Ente. He is my favourite of the three dogs. Uh, although the other two are really close as well. This is it, fellas. This is the pack. Uh, I, I can, can you feel it? I can feel it. Because uh, I'm holding into my hands. <laughs> hey, ah! Uh, remember to subscribe for all the all these top tier jokes. Uh, right. So uh, I'm gonna say fire is gonna be all. No, it's steel. Okay then. Well, that that's fine because if I was correct, I'd have been cursed. We've got. Ah, oh, that's a very cute Trotini. Very nice. Ooh, Oddish. Look at that. Look at that cool Oddish. Man, I really like Oddish. It, it was actually one of my favourites as a kid. Uh, hey, Finizen! I've not seen either of the um, either of the dolphins uh, till now. It just made me realise. Got a Hoodia. I've not. Okay. Um, cool. I got a Masquerain. This is an official pack. I don't... Cool. Okay, that was weird. That was... That was very weird. This is this is genuine... Because I bought this at a local card store. So, like... This is a real pack, I hope. That was the first time I've ever seen that happen. Anyway, we've got an Excadrill. We've got a Pidgeotto. Uh, our first reverse is Bouffalant. Maybe the backwards upside down card is... Good luck for... <gasps> Yo, this was good luck. I don't care what I get next. We got fucking Paldean Clodzile. Look at that boy. Look at him. Ah, oh, he's so... Uh, well, I, I don't know if I want to say happy, because he could maybe not be happy. I think it's based off one of those frogs that, like, keep their young in their skin, in, like, holes in their skin. They're really cool. Look that up when you've got a minute. And our last card is a Hollow Toxtricity. Was it Charizard? No. Do I like Toxtricity? Yes. That is very cool. Right, I'm going to put everything by and we'll take a last look at my polls. All right. So, those are some pretty good polls. I'm not really counting Charmander, you know, because that's guaranteed. But, 
Yeah, honestly, I'd say the highlight is Cleffa. It, it is adorable. I love the illustration res. Uh, but I'm, I am very happy that I did get a Terra card, even if it is Greedent. Uh, and Toad's Rule is a cool, cruel dude anyway. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I will be opening more packs of Pokemon in the future. Will it be Obsidian Flames? Maybe. Um, I quite like the set, and I'd like to get some more illustration res. So... Stay tuned, um, or don't, but regardless, I appreciate that you made it this far into the video. Uh, yeah, I'll wrap it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll leave a playlist to my other pork openings, and until next time, goodbye.